I want to apologize. Some of my videos lately have had some vertical tearing issues. If you don't know what vertical tearing is, it's this. What causes it? Well, vertical tearing happens when your graphics card is generating frames at a frame rate that's different than your monitor's refresh rate. Typically, your monitor's refresh rate is 60 frames a second. So, how do you solve vertical tearing? Some games give you the ability to enable VSync. Others let you cap the max frame rate of the game. VSync is the most effective way to eliminate vertical tearing, while limiting frame rate is far less effective. What do you do if the game's VSync isn't working? It's simple. We're going to enable system wide VSync at a hardware level. Open a terminal. For the purpose of this video, I'm using a fun, flashy terminal called Cool Retro Term, or CRT for short, but you can use any terminal emulator. So once you have your terminal open, you can type in sudo space nano space slash etc slash x11, if it's not capitalized, it won't work, slash xorg, all lowercase this time, dot conf, and then press enter. If this doesn't work, you'll see an error message. Make sure you check your command uh, that it's all spelled correctly with the correct capitalization. If you've checked everything and you're still getting an error, you'll need to run sudo space nvidia dash xconfig, which will generate the file we need to edit. Uh, and then what you need to do is just tap up on the keyboard until you get to sudo nano etc x11 xorg.conf. So let's break down this command. Sudo temporarily gives your account root privilege. I'll explain that in a second. Nano is an easy to use command line text editor. If you prefer Vim or even get it, feel free to use that instead of Nano. What follows Nano is the path to the file that we want to edit. Slash etc slash x11 is the directory and xorg.conf is the file in that directory we want to edit. So what you're telling your computer to do is open slash etc slash x11 slash xorg.conf with the program nano and give nano read write access with the sudo command. So now that we're able to actually edit the file, you'll need to come down here to the screen section. You'll need to add a new line of code. If you're using nano, you can copy from your web browser the code in the paste bin linked below and then hold control shift v and it will paste it exactly uh, with the correct indentation and everything you don't need that extra line that it will put in there and then all you have to do is hit control x and it will ask save modified buffer answer no will destroy changes and then you just type a y and then you want to keep the file name exactly as it is, so just hit enter. For me, the change happened immediately. If it didn't for you, you might want to try a restart of the system. Also, please note that if you're using multiple monitors, you'll need to alter the string. Well, thanks for watching. That's all there is uh, for now. Uh, I want to give a special shout out to Petrusi64 on Reddit and uh, Buccaneer on GitHub for, uh, for sharing the article and writing the article that I got this tutorial from. As I said, thanks for watching, and if you like what you saw, share with your friends, and make sure you subscribe to see more from me, The Linux Gamer. Thanks for watching.